Welcome everybody to Stooks Baseball Cards and Curiosities. Um, tonight I've got a quick tribute to uh, Bud Grant and the recent um, his recent passing. He's a Hall of Fame football coach with the Minnesota Vikings, and then I've got a few pickups after that. But um, most people know Bud Grant as a football coach for the Minnesota Vikings, and he also coached the Winnipeg Blue Bombers in the CFL. But Bud was a multi-sport person in college, and he's also a multiple sport person in uh, professional life. And here's a photo that I had signed probably over 20 years ago. Bud played on the 1950 Minneapolis Lakers NBA championship. He was a pretty nice guy at the autograph signing. And in the later years, he'd have a garage sale every spring, and I'd go hang out at the garage sale, and it was a good time. Bud was always joking with people, and I got in line to get something autographed at one of the garage sales, and um, the person in front of me, he starts talking to Bud. He goes, I drove all the way from Iowa to come and get your autograph and meet you today. And Bud looks at me and he winks and he, and he goes like that. <laughs> and he had a big smile on his face. Always joking. Um, so rest in peace, coach. Okay, for the pickups this weekend, um, there's some, some pickups I wasn't expecting. Um, some pretty rare cards. One is almost like a Blue Jacket 66 rare card. Um, the first one I'll show you though is uh, 1975 Bobby Orr Stand Up. It has a facsimile autograph at the bottom. Still in the original shrink wrap. You can see the reflection. The back is just blank. What you do is you open it up and you put it in this punch out this little stand there and you set right there you set that into the stand and you got a Bobby Orr standing be, beside you on your desk all day the next uh, two items actually I got a couple of these 1931 Chicago Cub picture pack cards and this one is Hack Wilson they're about six by nine inches. These were in really nice shape. I couldn't help but pick them up. The guy, the local card shop that I went to had the full set. He was willing to break it up for a couple cards that I wanted. And the next one I picked out of the set was Rogers Hornsby. Those were the two I thought were priced right. They're pretty darn good Hall of Famers, and they're really great shape. So I got those two nice cards. The next item is something I wasn't expecting to get. 1934 Peerless Scale or Wayne cards. And this is Stepan Fletchett. He was the first African-American Hollywood movie star. And I believe this is his first card. There's one on eBay claiming that anyway. and That one's in a little better shape and they're asking quite a bit more money. I picked this up in a lot for $20. And the back of them, it's Kresge. is a company that's stamped on the back. And if you read in small print where it says peerless wing whatever and there's like a patent number there and that's indicated it's 1934 and the final card is the rare card I've never seen them in the wild I've seen them in big auctions they're always graded and they're just hard to find. There's been six of these graded by PSA and two graded by SGC and probably soon to be three graded by SGC. This is the 1950 
Scott's Potato Chips. Minneapolis Laker cards. And the artwork is by Pappas. It says down below where it says Potato Chips. And these were out of East Grand Forks, Minnesota. A long way from Minneapolis. And the back has a nice biography. And you can send these cards in and get like the facsimile or an autographed team photo of the Lakers. Has a nice biography. John Cunla was the coach. He coached the Lakers the five championships in the NBA and one in the BAA, I believe, or the NBL, one of those two, 1948. But he also coached, well, he played basketball at the University of Minnesota. He coached St. Thomas University, and he ended up going to the Lakers, becoming their head coach, and the rest is history. does have a little tape there over the word coach. It really doesn't matter. I just don't ever see these, and I don't see them for halfway reasonable price. This is a Hall of Famer, and, you know, George Mikan is the big card in the set. I mean, the, they probably go to go for three thousand dollars on up, but this is just really happy to get this card this weekend. It's going to SGC soon. And that's what I have tonight. I want to thank everybody for viewing. Have a nice day. Thank you.